Hi, my name is John from Japanese Knife Imports, and today we're going to show you a very simple trick that you can use in your sharpening uh, to help you maintain a consistent angle and really have uh, better feedback from your sharpening uh, visually so that you can see what's going on with your angle and with your consistency. And we're going to do that by using a permanent marker, uh, in this case Sharpie, which of course has quite the ironic name. Uh, and the way that we do this, and a lot of people refer to this as the Sharpie trick or magic marker trick. Uh, what they do is they color in the edge of the knife and one thing that I like to add to it is also color in the area behind the edge of the knife just a little bit. And the reason that I do the area behind the edge of the knife is it allows me to see when my angle is too low. Uh, so it does, when I color in just the edge it only tells me whether I'm hitting the edge or not. But when I color in also the area behind the edge I can see when my angle has dropped or when I have uh, wobbling or anything like that. So what you want to do when you use this Sharpie trick is you want to color in the side of the knife that you're going to be sharpening, again the edge and a little bit of the area behind the edge. And you want to make sure that you let the Sharpie dry. If you don't let it dry there's just going to be black everywhere and that's not so great. For the purposes of this video I'm going to be using a finishing stone. Uh, in this case it's the Geshen 6000 and the knife that I'm sharpening today is the Geshen Kagero. So once you have the Sharpie on your knife, what you can do is you can make one pass and you can see where marker is being removed. So I'm going to do it again. In this case, you can see that I removed a lot of marker up in this area, but this isn't the area that I want to be sharpening, which means that my angle is severely too low. Uh, so this is not the kind of sharpening that I want to do, unless of course I'm trying to thin the knife, uh, in which case that would be a little bit better. but here I'm trying to sharpen the knife. So uh, I'm going to color it in again. And one of the things that I think is very important about utilizing the Sharpie trick is to color in your knife again when the Sharpie is gone. So that you can see once you've removed all the Sharpie again it's very difficult to see what's going on. So you can color it in as many times as you need to and you can always stop in the middle of your sharpening and recolor things in. Alright so here we are we're going to try again. This time, you can't really see so well in the video, but I've only removed a thin line of Sharpie along the edge. And that tells me that my angle is too high. So I'm going to make an adjustment. And now, I've removed Sharpie from the entire bevel that I'm looking to remove it from. And that tells me that my angle is correct for what this manufacturer has set on the knife or whatever the previous sharpening job has done. This is a good way to follow an angle. It's also a good way to know when you're being consistent and to see when problems are occurring or if you have problems near the heel or near the tip or if you miss an area. Uh, this just adds one more level of feedback that you can get so you can see what's going on in your sharpening, where sharpening is taking place and so on and so forth. One of the last things that's kind of important with regard to the Sharpie trick is removing the Sharpie. And for that we use acetone nail polish remover. And uh, you don't want to leave Sharpie on your knife. Uh, it's not particularly good for you know all the food that you're cutting. You don't want your stuff turning black. And so what you can do is you can just take a little bit of acetone and a cotton ball or a paper towel or something like that and wipe off the knife. And you have a nice clean knife again to start with. You can see I still have some residual scratching from my tiny little pass on the 6000 grit stone here. But this way you get a little bit more consistency and you can see what's going on in your sharpening so that you don't have to make mistakes like that continually. So when people are talking about the Sharpie trick or magic marker trick online, now you know what it is. Uh, I hope you guys find this useful and uh, good luck with your sharpening. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at JapaneseKnifeImports.com. Again, my name is John. Thank you so much for watching.